hello okay first of all i'm not making this video to start up drama okay this is just me warning other black women because i don't want the same thing that happened to me to happen to them with this group but i have saw that the waifu house was taking new members again and here is my little review my reasonings for why i don't think black women or just women of color in general should join this group i actually made a blog post about this back in march um but one i realized a lot of people don't really read and it was kind of long i understand why a lot of people didn't want to read through all that and two my website is privately owned it was on my blog so i was like you know what let me come over here and just do what i need to do this is probably gonna late last if i say about it let's go the main reason why i made that blog post in the first place is because the owner princess yeah i'm saying her name i don't care anymore she lied about why she kicked like she kicked me and like numerous other members out first of all i was the only one that she technically kicked out all the other women left she did kick me out but the reason she kicked me out is because she realized that i wasn't gonna co-sign her mess and i wasn't on her side in that situation that had happened that led up to you know me being kicked out but the waifu house is like a cosplay gaming community yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know. We barely did much of anything because the owner, Princess, is not good at it. The communication system for the group was terrible. It was set up to run like a mafia. Princess made it very difficult to contact her. We had to contact her through numerous like other people in order to like get some type of response and it was never like a definite answer. So one, that's the first red flag. Con communication was horrible. Next, there was a situation with some swimsuits that we were supposed to model. Uh, turns out Brent has never gave us the swimsuits because those swimsuits were given to them. Uh, mind you, I'm not going to say the name of the brand because I don't want them to get like unnecessary like backlash from this because they technically didn't do anything wrong but in order for us to model those swimsuits and get them we had to pay Brent at $60 so yeah but we were supposed to get those swimsuits for free the people gave her those swimsuits for free for us to model in so yeah uh, there was a transphobia rumor that was going around. Um, uh, this is alleged mainly because I've heard this strictly word of mouth, but Brunta said that she only wanted to have real women a part of her group. And when she said real women, she meant cis women. Um, I think all women, anybody who identifies as a woman is a woman, trans, cis, doesn't matter. Yeah. And to summarize a lot of the other stuff, a lot of the shit that we're trying not to cuss, but a lot of the other things that we did with this was very much unpaid labor. So much of the stuff that we did was for Brenta. So much of what we did was to make her look good. Most of us literally got nothing out of this. And the entire purpose of this community was to help us grow and to build like our platforms and this and that and the third. No, this was just Brenta getting people to do work for her and make her brand look good. And also, I have my own brand. Um, I had her and a few other members of the um, group model for, like, my shop. And I found out behind the scenes that she was being very, very difficult to work with. She was being hard to cooperate with. And she was just, like, treating my shop as, like, an afterthought. I mean, people... It ain't that deep, but, like... She was treating, like, my brand as, like, an afterthought. And that was a bit frustrating and hurtful to me because I put my everything in it. So, yeah, I took offense to that. And what really made me, like, not want to be here anymore, which led to me being kicked out. Mind you, I was kicked out because I didn't, like, the main reason I got kicked out was because I didn't sign with her on this. But Brentess ended up calling someone else on the phone. And mind you, this is when a lot of us were really starting to get, like, sick of her behavior. So she called someone else on the phone. Like, she kept calling this girl numerous, numerous, numerous times. And I was already on the phone with her, like, the other girl. So it wasn't just me, it was like a few others too, just as well. And literally, Princess is on the phone, literally screaming at her, or literally screaming, yelling, cussing. Next thing you know, she over here talking about that we're bitches and that we're nobodies and yada, yada, yada. Like, it was just very rude and condescending things. She was talking this way about her own community, the community that she pretended to care so much about. So seeing that she was talking this way about me, seeing she was talking this way about all the other women in the community, I was like, yeah, no, I do not want to be a part of this anymore. 
long story short, very not a good group, very unprofessional owner, don't recommend. I mean, y'all are free to do what you want, but the main reason I made this is because I noticed that a lot of like impressionable people who never heard of this group or don't really know about anything that happened with it might get taken advantage of. And I just wanted to, you know, tell my story, tell my truth. There's actually a lot more stuff that I did not speak about with the Waifu House, but yeah, go read the blog if you want to see that. I don't know. But yeah, thank you for your time. Do what you want with this information. Yeah.